Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna be doing some hat hairstyles. These are so cute and so easy. I'm gonna link my last hat hairstyles video right here. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to, but let's go ahead and get started. So of course, for this video, you are gonna need a hat. I'm gonna use this one right here and some hair ties, a claw clip, maybe some bobby pins. So first off, I'm just gonna start and brush my hair, get all the tangles out. We do not want tangly hair. So if my background looks a little different it's because we just moved into our house. We, we have been in a very small apartment the last year and a half and we were all just driving each other crazy in that apartment. So it feels so good to have space and to just be in a new house. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hat. I am not a New York Yankees fan, but it's a cute hat. I like how it's like pink underneath, it matches my nails. Um, all right, so we got our hat on and I'm going to turn around and do a voiceover and get this video started. Okay, for the first hairstyle, you just want to put your hair back into a ponytail and then just tie it off with a hair tie of your choosing. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a regular three strand braid. So I'm going to start out in the back. I'm just crossing my outside sections over the middle, doing a regular basic three strand braid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring my braid around and finish it up this way because my shoulders were getting tired. And then I just try to go as far down as I can with my braid. My hair is a little bit uneven, so you can see here one side's longer than the other, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it off with a clear elastic. So now the fun part, it's probably best to do this with your hat off of your head than, rather than trying to do what I'm doing, but that's okay. So I'm just going to take my braid, bring it up under my hat. So then I'm just going to drape my braid over and you can see at the bottom here, it kind of forms like a little bun. So I'm going to figure out where my braid meets my bun and I'm just going to open up my braid and I'm just going to pull my bun through that opening. So it creates a really beautiful kind of braided style. I'm just going to kind of pinch and pull even out the sections a little bit. Then with the ends that are hanging out, you can choose to bobby pin if you wish, but I'm just going to open up my hair tie and I'm going to tuck those ends in. So for this hairstyle, no bobby pins are needed. I like this one. Obviously, you know, if you need to take off your hat, this isn't a good hairstyle to wear. Um, if you are just like boating or being outside, I think this is a really beautiful hairstyle. So let me know what you guys think of number one. Hairstyle number two, with the opening of your hat, you're just gonna kind of pull out a section like I'm doing here, not pulling out all the way, just pulling out a little bit to create a little loopy. And then I'm just gonna kind of pinch and pull it to make it a little fluffier. Then I'm just gonna tie it with a hair tie. So I have a little bun that I formed. Gonna do the exact same thing with the bottom section of my hair, just gonna do a little bun. So I'm pulling my hair tie over my ponytail a little bit and then stretching it out. With the ends hanging out, I'm just gonna twist them and then wrap them over the hair tie of that second bun and I'm just gonna tuck the ends back into the hair tie. No bobby pins needed. Then I'm just gonna take my bottom bun and scrunch it up to that top bun and you can see it creates a cute button. So then I'm just gonna take my claw clip and I'm just gonna pinch the bottom of that bun with it. And you can see here it creates like a beautiful little boho hairstyle. It's fun, it's cute, it's sassy. Hairstyle number three. So you're just gonna pull your hair through your hair tie um, once or twice. And then you're just gonna pull your hair tight over your ponytail a little bit to form a bun. You're gonna take your ends, split them into two, twist them around your fingers, bring them up over your head, and then you're gonna tie them with a hair tie. Then you're gonna take those two sections that you tied, you're gonna twist it, it's gonna form an opening, and you're gonna take the opening and you're gonna pull it over your bun. And then you're just gonna tighten your ends. This is my absolute favorite way, well, second favorite way to wear a low bun. First is like a knotted bun, which I can show another time. You're gonna take your ends and just twist them around the bun and no bobby pins needed for this one. I'm just tucking the ends into my hair tie. So this one is not connected to your hat, so if you need to take your hat off, you're good to go, but it creates a really pretty bun. I love this bun. I literally wear it all the time. It's so simple to do. So let me know what you think of this one. Hairstyle number four, the last hairstyle. Bring your hair around to the side, split it into two sections, then with one of those sections, split it into two. Now you're gonna take those sections, twist them around your finger, away from your face. So I'm gonna show you what I mean when I'm saying away from my face, that way. <laughs> now you can twist it like I'm doing here, or you can just wrap it around your finger, which it takes a minute to figure out, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. Now I'm gonna take that back section, and I'm gonna cross it over that inside 
front section. So again, to give it a little twist away from your face, cross the back section over the inside section. Give it a little twist away from your face, cross the back section over the inside section. Give it a twist, cross the back over the inside. Give it a twist, cross the back over the inside. And you just wanna do this all the way down. Make sure you're crossing your sections tightly, then tie it off with a hair tie. Once you tie it off with a hair tie, you will know you did it right if it does not unravel and it looks like this. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with that other section of hair. Um, same steps, and we're just doing a rope braid. So crossing your sections away from your face, taking the back, crossing over the inside, and you do this all the way down. So we're just doing two rope braids, and once we do that, I will show you what to do next. So now we have our two rope braids. We're basically just gonna pinch and pull the outside of your rope braid and then the inside of the rope braid. So we're gonna make it nice and fluffy and full. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Make it nice and fluffy and full. Don't pull it too much, just a little pinch and a little pull will do. Now we're gonna intertwine our braids. So I'm just gonna open up one of the rope braids, pull the other through. Do the same thing, find an opening, pull the braid through. Find an opening, pull the braid through, all the way down. Then you're gonna take off your hair ties and you're gonna combine them and just tie it into one hair tie. So it should end up looking something like this. And now we are just going to pinch and pull it a little bit. And we're gonna make it look even more full. So I'm just pinching and pulling again, just on the front, on the back, on the side, all the way around. And this is just gonna make our braid look really full, really fluffy, thick, pretty. Um, I just love the way it looks. So let me know what you think of this one. Which one do you like best? One, two, three, or four? So that is it. That is the video. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.